When I lost my children, which was in 1986, um, I was back in the survival mode again. And this time I was really fighting for my life. I was just fighting to stay alive. Getting Leva as part of our speaker series this year was a huge, huge blessing for us. I won't go into details of that. If you really like to know the details, um, there is a book uh, which I co-wrote, uh, No Remorse. It's uh, co-written with uh, a reporter and a freelance writer. Uh, you will not see my name anywhere on the book because at that time the murderer was still alive and I had huge security issues. So my name was anywhere, uh, was not on it, so he couldn't find me. Uh, because there was a huge danger that he was going to be released and I had to fight with the justice system. I was born in a former Czechoslovakia, what is now Czech Republic, and I defected the country in 1969 after the Russian occupation. She um, definitely split up the different kinds of speakers that we had. She's a mountaineer, but she went through some terrible trifes and overcame them and is here to tell us about it. Um, I think that the fact that she's open about what she went through and what she experienced and how she came out on top and how other people can do that meant a lot. I strongly believe that energetically we all have um, our healing places. Tonight was uh, very inspiring. Uh, the story of, of uh, perseverance and endurance and what determination can do for a person. See the end of the rock wall? Some people find a lot of comfort just say, sitting and staring at an ocean. Some people like gardening. Some, some people uh, just like a walk on a, on a forested path or, you know, there, there are different environments that, that people like being at or being by a lake or so. And for me, it was always being high up, being in high mountain. And knowing that, that you know, life is an adventure and there's always something to uh, explore or, or uh, to learn. And where that can take you, just being open to learn where that can take you in life is uh, pretty amazing. Oh, it was fantastic. Um, my brother was a mountaineer, so this was especially interesting for me to see what Libba did in the call and all the different ways she inspired and helped other people, especially with what she has been through. You know, seeing how much suffering is over there and whatever happened to me, as bad as it was, I, I knew I can, I can recover. If they can survive the conditions they live in, I can survive it too. When, like at all odds of being knocked down, or you're thinking there's no more, how something, something could inspire you and have a whole shift of thinking. So I think that people come to these events because they actually do take something from them and they get to go home and apply that to their everyday life and live a bigger, better and stronger life themselves. I've been to the Famous Five series before. I was uh, invited by a friend and I worked with Shell, so, uh, uh, the Women's Network sponsors a table, and that's how I got invited. I think the Famous Five uh, series allows other women or uh, colleagues to uh, learn from each other uh, very inspirational stories, and the speakers that they get are always interesting, and there's always something to learn. I think the concept is great, and, uh, and also what I was really glad to see that we had some male audience today. It wasn't, it wasn't all women, because as women, we know our worth. You know, we, we don't have to convince each other, we know it. Uh, but I think it would be really good if more men attended and see that, and actually could see that um, women can accomplish things on their own.